Okay. We are back to try and figure out how on earth we're beating the wall of flash. Because it's kind of proving to be problematic. So something I want to try out or see if it's good is the pulse pistol. And decrypt. 100 wires and 15 glass. I think we have a mechanic. She probably lives. She lives underground with a goblin. Probably. It'll be a smidgen more expensive to buy the wire, but. And she's still happy enough to sell a pylon, so. Can't be that unhappy, you know? She's. She's just mildly uncomfortable. It's like. You're. I don't know, you don't. I don't know where this analogy is going. I'm trying to think of something that. It's like your spouse paints the bedroom a color you don't like. You still love your spouse, you just hate the color your bedroom is. Why not now? Uh, 18 bucks. Anvil? Um, slightly confused as to why I can't make a decryption computer, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about that. The sunken sea schematic. Okay. Well, we can go there. So I figured I may as well try out everything. I have. No idea what not actually is going to be good against wall flash. Which way is this one can see you are on the right way? So we need to find the lab in this place. I have, of course, neglected to bring water breathing. What is it even called? Water? No? Oh, sh I had the right subset of words, but I did not have the right words. Nothing special. Okay. Mm. Just thinking of how else we could try and get stronger. Sides, you know, get good. So 
Which way is the lab? You don't need to kill a giant clam. Doesn't accomplish anything. Oh yeah, I should have made a lab seeking mechanism. It's okay, the sunken sea is not very big. We'll probably find it. Decently fast. Maybe not. We're going home again. So I don't know which mechanism gives you the sunken sea. Power cores. Do we have any? Okay, no. So we're looking for seeking mechanism. This one? Oh, you're kidding. Okay, we need a lab seeking mechanism. So we need iron bars. I'm seeking my answer. Now we need a bucket so that we can make something see one. Which way? It is a little bit ironic that the nearest source of water to my base is an oasis in the desert. So, I'm seeking. Seeking mechanism. Below the desert. Alright. Now we can actually figure out where the stupid ocean, stupid lab within the sunken sea is. I feel like digging a lot to find it. And you know what I forgot? You need to fucking charge these damn things. Oh my god. Why do you need to charge these things? Like, thematically, I get it. But come on! Like, so you go to you know, the underground jungle and stuff. You take out your 
lamp seeking mechanism, and you're like, oh, I forgot to charge it. Now I have to go all the way back. Kind of silly. Makes <laughs> wakes makes way more sense in terms of weapons than it does something that has little purpose other than Put it this way. It seems weird that. QOL, QOL requires charging. There's our schematic. Anything else even worth taking? Yeah, the charging stations, maybe, or... We might get some more life force potions, which might be helpful against wall life. We're gonna need more storage space. Can we make any storage upgrades? Yes. I don't know. This one. Looks like we probably have enough power cells already. Feels like that should just go away if you... Feels like that could use an X to close it. So now we can craft... decryption. And now we can make... Now we can decipher the schematic. We take some cells. And 
meantime... We need C Prism, which we have just enough of. Oh dear. We can, I guess, harvest some plants. Hundred four pumpkins. Just have an unlimited. Granted, it's only medium, but. We have thirteen goodie bags. Okie dokie. So we're gonna try this thing. I don't know how good it's gonna be on Wall of Flesh. The weird thing about these weapons is that last time I used any of them, you had to reboard them before you charge them. Have some of the station already. Okay, we'll put this over the ultra stone because we're not going to be using it against wall flux. And now we can get some potions. I wonder if we can buy anything else in the potions department. For one thing, we currently don't have rage pots. Those could be a bit useful. Um. I guess we're going to want the Zen Pot just for getting down there. Can we make any more of the basic one? I guess we have no bottled water at all. Yeah. Alter. 
There we go. And back to the oasis to make. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot. That looked interesting, though. Good, not sure. Interesting, yes. can go to our girl here, and she'll sell us range. Something else we could do, perhaps, is to set up a spawn point. Towards the in some part of the world or another, somewhere nice and far away, that we can just TP back to, or that will come back at during the fight. Though maybe they change it to the wall of flash, like instant despawn. That could most certainly be the case. Oh, I hate that little hat. We'll need to bring some tracker along and fix it next time. Guess I could have fixed it there, but too late. We're already heading to the very edge of the world. You have a doll, right? Yes, we have a doll. Piece of fucking shit. We have a Zen pot on, by the way. To the end, we're close. Let's wait here for our life to region. We could, uh, that would be a pain because of the tracks, but we could, in theory, make some heart lanterns. That would also be a pain. We need to make heart lanterns. There's a reason I usually don't use many buffs for the Wall of Flash arena buffs, anyways. That is because they're all a pain. Of course, it didn't fall into lava. Okay, yeah, let's try that. Thank you. 
Oh, we're out of mana. Like... Okay, this does a number on it. I don't know how much charge we have, but it actually does do a number on it. We've used about a fifth of our charge. Okay, these lasers are doing a lot of damage now. Those do even more damage. You know, something else we could get are... now. So, World Boss of Cobalt and Palladium. That was a fair bit of delay. So pop this. You don't need these buffs right now. Laser rifle, if that's any good at all. It's probably better than the water bolt. Probably done with the Eldritch Tome at this point. Demon Heart. Can I change the music? Okay, we could get another treasure bag, if we really want. Yeah, I don't know how to change the music in the use. I, I actually don't want this music. Um, I'm gonna try saving and exiting. Come on. Come on, chop chop. 
It's a little weird that it just changes involuntarily and with no apparent way to change it back. We can look for Cobalt and Palladium. Didn't think the Pulse Pistol would be that good. I seldom use the first tier of dried on weaponry just because it's something I don't exactly it's kind of a pain. Not a huge pain, but a small one. Oh that's cobalt. We need cobalt for anything except. Oh yeah, the cobalt armor is changed, isn't it? I have no way at all of knowing how it's changed, but it's different. I'm not sure I have a teal mushroom either way. and we will probably get enough for armor relatively quickly. How much do we even need? Uh, 12, 20, so 40? Really, 47 bars is a bit of an odd one. And it's all a bit odd because it's video game that's entirely fictional. Did that drop something? Yeah, a present. Okay, that's useless. good the cobalt armor actually is. Because it's... Honestly, not something I've ever made. Yeah, I don't think I've ever made cobalt. But I know it has something new to it. One forty three, how many two bar? Three? Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. Four.
Oh, I didn't notice you. Uh... Right. You know what? Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice the massive earth elemental that was very stealthily approaching me. Unfortunately, I don't think the Earth Elemental even drops anything. You can make a Palladium heck. I want to see what the new Cobalt Armor is like. The Palladium Pickaxe. Magic helmet. And if it's not good, it's and it's no huge investment or anything. We, yeah, we can't do anything with these. So we go from 60 and 25 to 60 and 27. So it is a damage upgrade. We have damage when critical strikes boost relative to your current movement speed. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I can get behind that. question is, what are we sourcing our next weapon from? Now we can probably get Frigid Flashbolt, Essence of Chaos, and Essence of Elium. Okay. So, Essence of Elium is Ice Enemies. So... Realistically, we're not going to be able to pop a Zerg and survive. But you know what? Realistically, never stopped anyone. Let's grab a Zerg. We don't need Spelunker Pots right now. You can also farm up the Essence of Elium for a Cryogen Summon. Get a Warmth Potion. 
couple of them anyways. And then we're still obviously going to need, you know, souls and whatnot. Oh, our snow biome is astral fudge balls. Guess we can do stuff with the astral though. Since it Since we do there is actually a mana upgrade. I don't know if it's right now, right now, but I believe you need Stardust. We'll have to hope that... I know you can get Essence Valium on the surface, it's just that the enemies are way harder to find. You gotta need to give it. Now I don't, unfortunately because this is 1.4, I'm pretty sure that Butterfly Dust is now either post one mechanical boss or post mech bosses altogether. So we, I don't think we can get Butterfly Wings. Butterfly Wings were, are they still good? Butterfly wings. So, acceleration multiplier 1.0. Average vertical speed, flight time 160. And it's still nice. How much better are fairy wings than these? They're faster, flight times significantly higher. We're probably gonna want those. You know, it just occurred to me that we don't have the tokens mod. And what that means is we're not going to be able to just... Easily craft ourselves... A good old-fashioned Rod of Discord, because... And that's a problem, because the way Calamity intended, at least last they knew, for you to get the Rod of Discord, was to buy it at an exorbitant price from the wizard. And I do mean exorbitant. I don't. Oh, it's an ice clasper. It's off. to find as well. That's another thing. Thank you. 
I'm hoping to kill a hard road boss today, but I wouldn't be that surprised if we don't get to it. Because there's a lot to do. So if we look, we already have the essence of LM. How much for a key? Eight. Might not be that bad. Oh hey, we got we got a frozen turtle shell. I didn't put anything in our other accessory slot. Make sure you get the shell before it. Is any opportunity to respawn? I reckon we can use the frigid flash bolt against destroyer. So I do wonder if it was actually right to go after Destroyer first. I suppose we'll just be trying it all. Since no guarantee we can do Destroyer now. And it's not like we sent to gain nothing, because we gain access to things that you craft from the Ether Landville. Oh dear. You know, I already played my Toho for this day game. I was still, I was practicing Lunatic PCB because I've been That's fucking bollocks. Okay, we're gonna cancel the Zerg. Where was I? Oh yeah, I was practicing PCD on Lunatic because... I've just been having a lot of fun with it. Still, not at all 1cc levels, but there's definitely been some progress. Go get our essence, because an ice clasper insisted on being 
No fun allowed. Okay, we have it out. Now we need our... What my who is it? Our... The words are loading. Essence of Chaos. There we go. Those are the words. The old brain got there eventually. We also need to kill a wyvern. Or wings. Let's go get the essence of chaos first. Fuck off. Cavern pylon got crimson. You know, what sucks about that is... Mm. So you know what, I'll probably fix that up on... off-camera. Unfortunately, that means these folks are out of a home. It always happens. There is a 100% chance that if you build a cavern pylon, it will get crimsoned in the initial B. Or corrupted. Now let's just get the stuff, because... Yeah, I don't even have my unlimited dynamite on me. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. I also forgot to put on an accessory. Okay, come on up. I want to test the pulse pistol on you. Your way. That's what you get for not even trying to kill me.
10. I don't think we need 10 right now, but 10's a nice round number. Yeah, we might also get Daff. Let's not get Daff. We definitely have what we... What we needed. So... Now we can go make ourselves... We have Frostbolt. Let me guess. Okay, just a bucket of water. I was gonna say, let me guess, there's something about this that's a pain in the friggin' arse. Can we make a sink? Why not? Oh, uh, we need a bucket of water. Let's make a sink so we never have to go get buckets of water again. Where did our surface crimson spawn? Uh Yeah, where did our surface crimson spawn? Okay, it spawned there. Actually that's really close to our desert pylon. Where's our elevator maker? Oh. We can use this to... Prevent the surface... Prevent the crimson from... Getting in. The pylon still worked, so... Though it may not work. Like, pretty soon, actually. I might... I might take a character who can afford a Clintaminator and such. And just clean up the stuff that's right by our pylons. Mythical Frostbolt. I personally feel like pylons really I really do think pylons should have some type of protection against against evil it's a little silly that they don't to me at least Like, just so much convenience lost when two of your pylons go right at the start of hard mode, which is arguably and admittedly not all that difficult, even still, but arguably the most difficult point in the game to get around, aside from very early on. It's not like it would be something that would be really abusable. After all, you only get like, like you only get You get the surface for you get the forest, the desert, the cavern, the mushroom, the hallowed, the ice, and the ocean. Like it's pretty fine if the pylons protect, I don't know, a screen lamp or 
as long as it needs to guarantee that what you're working with is valid housing, that's not terribly abusable. What the f that was a very long Like that was not actually deliberate. So why were the tiki torches still up on one side but not the other? You know what I forgot to bring? We could, but we'll also be able to look for the wizard if we really care. We don't have a rare creatures detector, so it'll be a little harder. Wow, it's already 11.30. I feel like I've accomplished nothing. And in fairness, I haven't accomplished that much. Time is flying. Okay, the lumberjack was slain. Chat, lumberjack was slain. Whatever shall we do? Okay, so before we even build a pylon, let's dig out some protection. Fortunately, I don't think we're gonna have to do this for the main base. I think like 50 tiles. In either direction is sufficient. Should have brought a mining potion for this. I get the feeling this is big enough as a protection tunnel. If we put it right at the front here. Actually, we don't need to worry about... Because we're building it right in Hal. We're right on the ceiling of Hal, so we can... I go a little smaller, if anything, since... We want to mitigate the risk. To... They're just being a crimson block somewhere in here for some random reason.
You're not very smart, are you? Like, you, you did something that was vaguely intelligent. And then you proceeded to pull that. Falling into lava pits. Is... Something less than clever. Believe it or not. Tends not to be a good position to take. And then we can build the cavern pylon within this. Now everyone is so excited about this bit. tactic that is a lot better than fall into lava pits. It's called Leave Me Alone. Like, it, it's a tactic so good that Sun Tzu is envious of my militaristic genius. You know, I'm not sure this is big enough on this end of things. Oh well. We're building the thing here anyways. We could put it toward- actually, yeah, we could put it towards this side. So that... If the Crimson does get over to here, it won't be able to affect the housing. Because the Hallowed won't force the NPCs to move out. Did I forget our stone slab? I did. Oh well. I forgot walls too, so... They are getting... very rudimentary, huh? Do not worry about being late. Like... I don't want there to be any pressure, Mr. Energy Sir. Or Mrs. Or Miss. Or... Well, actually, a whole variety of pronouns. I have no real idea. Like, do what you will with your life. So we did manage to kill the Wall of Flesh, and as is traditional for 1.4 Terraria, our cavern pylon 
Got a lovely dose of crimson. No matter though, we will build a new, not not bigger and better cavern pylon, but a new one. Turns out that this here pulse pistol is pretty damn effective against the wall of flash. You know, could you please stop? Spawning the one enemy that can hit me. It is nothing except vaguely annoying. Why do I even bother telling the game what I want? Oh yeah, we're also gonna... Hmm... That's gonna be a bit of a pain. Well, actually, no, we can just put it... Yeah, we can put it upstairs. Of this one. So... Not really too bad. I do... I am working on a new cavern pylon, because our old one got crimsoned. I went on a little bit of a ramble about how I actually do think that pylons should have some protection against the crim crimson, because it's not really abusable. It's a massive pain when they get crimson, because, look, I have to spend, well, not a elevator, but I have to spend five minutes going to a place again. Like, I get, I guess I kind of get why you would want to preserve the threat of the Crimson to NPC housing. Cause it... I suppose that's the only reason for its fucking existence. That in the jungle. So maybe there's that justification? But still, it's just a pain when it happens. So we're building this, like, vertical area. To ensure that... I think this is high enough that we won't get a penalty for the goblin. A pylon is... A fast teleportation system. So you can see forest pylon, desert pylon, jungle pylon. Those are teleports. The problem is that the pylons are conditional on there being NPCs nearby. And when you enter hard mode, you get a big old V of... Corruption and Crimson, which can render your NPC housing at the pylons, you know, invalid. So it's like, and when that happens, it's a pain. 
Because you go from having convenient fast travel to it's a hard mode world, and it takes five minutes for me to get places when I inevitably die. Oh, I didn't notice you. Uh... Well... Kiss your- oh my god. You know... Okay. There- there's a special place in hell for idiots like... Xanadu the Wizard. Who... Did the real life equivalent of panicking when you're in a when you're just in a pattern of lasers or bullets or anything and you friggin' dodge right into them. Oh no 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 oh fucking caribbins. That's gonna get the stuff. Okay, it didn't kill that much stuff, thankfully. So yeah, this is the not as fun part of entering hard mode. Not even gonna bother trying to make these symmetrical on the vertical end of things. And we're building them like this. Because I have a protection tunnel that I've put this new pile on within so that. Crimson can't get to it. And I probably did not make it big enough on the horizontal end of things, but should be good enough. Now we can send the people who belong. Belong in this area back. And. I figure out what we're doing. Well, we're getting fairy wings. Well, we're working on getting wings. We're gonna need them. Well, better wings. We have wings. We're just mediocre wings right now. You know what else? We're probably going to need to make our arena bigger. You know, there's a lot of work to do.
This is... Oh, come on, that shit. This is not going to be a great neighborhood to raise your kids in. Because... Llama pools and children don't mesh well. Okay, where the fucking hell are the chairs in the inventory? Where are they? There they are. Oh god, that's a Tim. And we need... Sure, you have mis mismatched chairs. I'll live with it. Don't it! Trash. Children like to swim. They love the smell of ash and death, you know. I... Then I have to question your... The parenting skills in whatever region of the... of the world you live in. Because... Children... Should not... Enjoy lava... Ash... Or death. Okay. I should get a Zerg. Or up here, because they are. Tim the Great Wizard who fought King Arthur. That's a very plain name for the time. Tim. So I don't know. The etymology of it, so I can't say for certain if the name Tim did exist in Arthurian times. <laughs> Let's try the frigid flashbolt. What? Oh, did it despawn? No. It decided to very effectively feign despawning without actually despawning. Because it's an asshole like that. Twelve souls. Our desert pylon is also teetering right on the edge of being crimson. That's... I might just take a contaminator to that off stream with another character. Since I don't want to have to deal with quarantining it. Just the casual 254 damage. On Wyvern. Dead. It is. Okay. Wyver. Oh, Monty Python. I remember Monty Python. I mostly remember Knights Who Go Neep and 
the bunny with the big pointy sharp teeth that decapitates the man. What else? The Black Knight, who proclaimed that it was only a flash wound. Not only a flash wound. Uh, where's our hallow? So we should really build something in the hallow for housing, too. Because... This wizardly man is going to demand. I don't know how much it is for a rod of discord. It is a lot, though. Let's make sure he can't craft one in any way, shape, or form. That's a little too much. So for now, let's go... So it might take less time to kill 200 Chaos Elementals than to get friggin... However much Platinum the Wizard is gonna want for a rod. I'm tempted to say it's something like... Five? Maybe even ten. Let me tell you. We don't got ten Platinum. I'm fairly sure the Astral doesn't invalidate Pylons. You know what would actually have been kind of smart to do? Oh, it's... Hold up. The ocean's also about to rip a Reno. So let's... I didn't bring the instant elevator builder. Stupid. Crimson. Uh... Here it is. Joys of entering hard mode. Thankfully, we have the power of quality of life mods. And that mummy had the power of a mummy? This is still valid housing for the moment. Even though... Yeah, we're gonna lose these houses as well. Ugh. Thankfully, they're not the most important NPCs. Definitely gonna need to take a contaminator to the place and... Oh, where was I? Yeah, we're going to the Hallow. I was just trying to actually save a little bit of time in the hopes that it would make a difference, but it probably doesn't. Because... So ocean and desert pylons are going to be ripped soon. Actually, no, the ocean pylon won't be, because... There's probably some time before it gets to the house that's further back. Pursued very aggressively. Oh, probably because we have a Zerg. Zergs are 
generally not all that helpful when you're looking to traverse the world. Also, is the Hallow not here? Wow. That is... Okay, that's not as crazy as I thought. I thought it was a little farther in the world than it was. And those unicorns are probably one tile away from being able to get up here and kill me. I had to get one parting gift in before dying. I don't recall dying to pixies very often, but gastropods are pieces of garbage. You would think that across the map would be, you know, sufficient for avoiding the gastropods, but nope. Absolutely not. They have as much precision as, you know, the best sniper rifles the modern world has to offer. You ever thought about exactly how big a Terraria world is? Because you have to account for the fact that Terrarians are, no, two by three. So one block is maybe two feet, give or take. That puts a thousand blocks is two thousand feet, and so on and so forward. Which doesn't actually make Terraria worlds all that big. Like, probably only a few miles across.
So that's an action-packed few miles of geography. I don't know how that ended up breaking the door. Okay, there we go, we got it. The reason is I like the way the forward walls look when you do this. Unfortunately, now we're going to have to cut down more pearl wood. We got 28 in the bargain there. I mean, I've never played the Switch version, so I can't say if it's good. I do not own a Switch. It's never... Mostly because I'm... I guess it wouldn't only be for Pokémon anymore. But that was the original reason I didn't ever buy one, is that I thought it would only be for Pokémon. So I'm not all that interested in any of the other you know, Nintendo franchises. Now I've never played the Okay. The say I've never played Zelda is not entirely true. I've never played Ze Zelda that I remember. But, as children, we did have a big ol' chunker black and white Game Boy. And a copy of whatever Zelda game was on there, or one of them at any rate, that could only have been for me and my sister because parents didn't play video games. You like the Xbox 360 version? Goodness, the Xbox 360 version. That's can't imagine that's been updated in a few years. girl. Does the wizard like anybody else? Sorry at the stream. Freezes for a sec. I want to check if the wizard likes anybody else. So the wizardly man... Wizardly man. With a wizardly plan. Wizard. Living preferences. He likes the 
He loves... He actually doesn't love, like, the party girl, but he does like the merchant. He loves the golfer. We don't have a golfer. So I guess the best we can do is our... Your friend the merchant. You sold it for money. Have I sold any of my old games for money? No, actually. I don't have that many of them. They're probably rotting at my parents. Because that's what my old stuff does. I have a collection of... I had a collection of Pokemon cards that are probably worth something, actually. But nope. Parent's house. So what can we do in about... 10 minutes? I guess we can grab some souls. Oh yeah, I forgot, we don't have a pylon right now. We can fix that though. Grab a... We have one in storage, so we don't have to buy one or anything. Terraria has changed a lot since 2012. Even... Well, what you're seeing right now is modded. But even vanilla... And mostly it's changed for the better. I think what I... What is it that I don't like that's changed about vanilla? No, I'm not the best person to ask because I never played stuff like 1.2. Demolitionist. Uh, we don't seem to have. Oh wait, we ha we have one. Yeah. And tavern keep. Twenty twelve championship Mewtwo. I had just a bunch of assorted, fully evolved Pokemon. I don't remember what, and probably not actually any guarantee of value that they were fully evolved. But I thought they were better because they were, you know, stronger as a kid. Obviously, that's... Well, they had more HP and attacks that did more damage as a kid. That's no guarantee of anything, as I know now. Okay. Uh, we want to put a good reforge on the frigid blast. You know, Magic Mirror is a good reforge. Magic Mirror is the best reforge on magic weapon. Forceful, superior, merciful, mythical. So Calamity changes the reforging where you will get better stuff the more you reforge. Okay. Now let's go get some souls. I might do Souls of Light or Night first. I guess Hallow is right here. We get a Zerg. Where are... 
Where's our new pylon? I'm used to it not being directly below the house. My... What I remember as a kid about Pokemon cards, thinking back on it more, is I had this... Charizard card that was all shiny, and I believe it had an attack that did 200 damage, or 150 or something like that. And I thought that was good, and I tried, one of the kids in my class had a Mamos wine. And it was cool looking, but to a kid who never played the trading card game, it didn't look as good. The issue is that I wanted it, and he wanted my Charizard. It's like, this is the worst deal in the history of... I don't know. I just wanted to use the old meme. And I obviously never played the game as a kid. Brain too small and... You think I was bringing energy cards to school to show off at recess? I would have been... Laughed out of the circle. I think I've never actually properly played the Pokemon trading card game. My sister and I tried, but it ultimately ended up with us kind of just like... ...disagreeing on entirely arbitrary rules. So... The endeavor was largely in vain. Okay, we did get the booted out. Yeah, I was definitely in that category. Never, and then as an adult, never been all that interested in collectible card games. Because I'm not a collector, really. I don't, you know, I don't get joy from that stuff in the way some people do.
And there's also the... Having never been remotely near the wealthy side, really. Souls of Light, do we have? Oh, we have 20 ticks. Let's go to the Crimson. That is way faster than I was anticipating. Also, these enemies are actually pretty strong, so we're probably not going to be able to, act to use a Zerg pot here. If I had to take a guess. Yeah, we're not going to be able to zerg this. You know what, it is going on 12.20, so maybe I will go let the Gracie out, and then come back with Pokemon. Game stepped all over my hopes of doing a hard mode boss tonight, but that's okay. We killed Wall of Flesh and got started on things. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that.